So what's up, YouTube? My name is Keith, and you can follow me at Keith Can Code on all platforms. And today I just want to talk about a hot topic right now. And that's, is it worth learning how to code in 2024 with all the tech layoffs you hear about in the news and things like AI progressing all the time? So you hear things in the news like Google's laying off 30,000 employees. And if you're on your journey learning how to code or you're thinking about learning how to code, that might discourage you. But the biggest thing I want you to realize is it's way more jobs out here than just these big companies. I'll never discourage you from wanting to work at Meta or Netflix or Google, you know, any of these top companies. But you have to realize there's way more opportunities out there. So back in 2018, when I was studying to get my tech job, I went on a bunch of interviews. I went on interviews with companies like American Airlines, General Electric, um, digital marketing agencies, you name it. I went on an interview, hospitals, local businesses. I went on a ton of interviews. And the same holds true today. You know, there's going to be businesses popping up in your local area that needs an IT department, so you can apply for those jobs. So open your mind a little bit and think outside the box of just working at a Meta or a Netflix. You know, there's opportunities that you're not even thinking about. So while you're on your coding journey, you need to be networking as much as possible. Get on Meetup, search for some local groups in your area, attend anything of interest, and make real relationships with those people because that's probably where your first opportunity is going to come from. So I went on a million interviews to get my first tech job, but my wife, who's also a content creator, you can follow her at The Minimal Jess, she didn't go on one interview. Well, she's gone on a few interviews now since she's changed positions, but her very first job was given to her by somebody that she met at a meetup. She would go to all the coding meetups. You know, she started trying to drag me to them. I, at first, I didn't really want to go, but then I started seeing the power in attending them. I started meeting self-taught developers in the industry, and it really gave me that push to be like, man, I could do it too. So the days of working for a company for 60 years are probably long gone. So you need to be preparing yourself now for your future and cast your web out, do multiple things, have multiple streams of income. Just don't rely on the fact that, okay, I'm gonna learn how to code. I'm gonna get this six figure job. I'm gonna work here the rest of my life. Nowadays, that's not the plan no more. You need to have multiple streams of income now. So in your future, you good. So me personally, I have a nine to five. I'm a content creator. I'm trying to get my business off the ground. I help my wife with her content. I'm helping my wife start her business. Um, I'm invested in stocks. I do options trading. I do multiple things to generate an income because I don't know what the future holds. But what I can do is prepare myself. Then I pose this question. Why do you feel like you need to work at one of these top companies? If you have a certain skill set, work for yourself. So you're learning how to code and you may not know what to do with that knowledge, but just think like you can be freelancing right now, making money. There are local businesses popping up worldwide that need your services and all these different platforms that people can build websites themselves. But that's the thing. They're trying to build everything themselves and they have no knowledge on what a real website needs. So that's where you come in. Find some local businesses and audit their website. Make a list of things that they can improve on and send it to them and just say, hey, this is what you currently have. This is what I can do for you. Let's work. And you'll be surprised. There are plenty of people out here that's running businesses and they're frustrated trying to do everything themselves, but they have no idea who to go to to get a website made. And then, okay, maybe websites isn't your thing. Maybe you're an app developer. The same thing holds true with apps. There are people all around the world with app ideas and cash. Now you need to be the person that's helping them make their app and they'll pay you for it. But the biggest thing I encourage people to do that know how to code is start something for yourself. Create your own app, develop your own ideas into something that you can potentially sell for millions of dollars, if not billions, or you can have a monthly residual income with things like in-app purchases because you developed a dope app that thousands or millions of people are using every day. So I have a little cousin I mentioned on this channel before, and he worked at Microsoft straight out of college. He's been there up until last year. So maybe five or six years, he was working at Microsoft out of Seattle. And he got laid off with all these tech layoffs and our family was on his neck. Like, you know, what you about to do? Where are you going to go next? You need to be applying for new jobs. And he simply said, no, nah. like they gave me a package to leave. I'm going to take this money and I'm going to invest it in myself. So what he did is he has his own startup in Seattle called Unify Sports. If you're in the Seattle area, look him up. And he's basically gamifying the recreational basketball experience. And I truly believe he'll be a future millionaire off his ideas. But it takes the courage to be like, you know, I'm done working for these companies. I'm going to do something for myself. So, yeah, that's all I got to say about the big companies. You know, there's plenty of other opportunities out here. You just got to be open and look for them. And above all, create something for yourself. So the next thing and probably the biggest thing that everybody's talking about now is AI. So people are scared and saying like, you know, I think coding is a waste of time because I can just type a prompt into a computer and it can write code for me. But I truly believe that we're a long ways away from AI just taking over all the software engineering jobs. And even if that is the case, you need to be preparing yourself now for the future. So instead of just learning simple things like, okay, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, learn something like PyTorch. 
And if you don't know, PyTorch is a tool that can be used to train AI models to detect a variety of images or videos. So all the facial recognition stuff that you use every day, opening up a Facebook picture and it knows who's in the picture, all that kind of stuff can be done with PyTorch. So stay ahead of the game. If you know AI is coming down the pipeline, start equipping yourself with learning AI tools. So me personally, I'm using AI to learn AI, and I'm doing that by using ChatGPT to teach me PyTorch. So with ChatGPT, not only can I get a step-by-step -step curriculum of what I need to learn for PyTorch, I can also ask questions anytime I get stuck. So it's almost like an interactive learning process. ChatGPT can tell me what I need to go learn and research, but then I can go back and ask any questions that I come across. I've also been dabbling with getting ChatGPT to build apps for me. I have a video posted about how I use ChatGPT to make a very simple email bot to assist me with finding potential brand deals as an influencer. Now, Though the app is super simple, it's nothing crazy at all, just knowing how to interact with ChatGPT to build something is gonna give me a knowledge that I can use in the future. So if you're scared of AI taking your job or you're scared of AI replacing you at some point, learn AI, get in ChatGPT, do your research, get to know all these different tools that they're coming out with and master them. Then you don't have to worry about AI replacing you because you're gonna be creating the AI. So yeah, back to the question at hand. Should you be learning how to code in 2024? The answer is absolutely yes, no questions. Coding's not gonna go anywhere. If anything, the need for coders is only gonna progress. I don't care how many AI tools they develop, somebody's gonna have to program the AI. So make sure it's you. So that's all I got for today. Again, my name is Keith. Follow me on all platforms at Keith and Code. I'll catch y'all next time. Peace.